What's up everybody, my name is JR, aka The Sinister Chimera, and welcome to another video. This is my lovely wife here. We've got my mom's Mazda 3 here. If you have not already, check out our previous Rain-X video where we actually put the Rain-X Latitude blades on my wife's car. But basically, uh, my mom's uh, windshield wiper blades have really run out. I mean, the, the rubber's peeling off of it and everything like that, so we're gonna treat her uh, with the brand new Rain-X Latitude wiper blades. This video is not sponsored in any way, it's just a product that we enjoy ourselves. We put them on my wife's car. We put them on, on my truck myself. It's been almost over a year since the truck we've done it and it's been working fantastic ever since. We're gonna pop some on here so that my mom can actually see while she's driving in the rain. And it should be a very simple, easy process to do. We'll basically show you a before and after with the old blades versus the new blades after how to properly install them. And hopefully it'll come out way better than what she's used to. I just wanna let you guys know, thank you guys so much for the feedback on that last video. You let us know that, of course, my black attire that I'm usually wearing is not well suited for doing windshield wipers because it kind of blends in. So thank you for that feedback. And because of that, white shirt, clear background. So hopefully it'll be a lot easier to see than our last video. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see here, we've got a little bit of rubber to work with. It's very thin to work with, but I mean, it, it's still there. This is the old wiper blades. This is the other side. If you can see, if I can get it to focus, there is no rubber left whatsoever, but it's basically scratching the window. You can actually see some of the marks here. Maybe we'll pick it up on camera, but this is our old set. So let's go ahead and test it and see what it looks like. So you can really hear it. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but you can really hear that scraping. So guys, as you can see, while the water is running, the passenger side is not getting dry at all. I mean, it's just nothing's happening. The driver's side is perfectly fine, and that's very good because uh, you definitely want to see out of your driver's side. But not being able, if that rubber were to come off the other side, you can't see anything. All right, guys, so basically for this car, just like my wife's car, you have two different sizes. So make sure uh, when you try to buy these, I'm gonna leave links in the description below. There should be on the Amazon page that I'll link on there. There should be like a, a sizing chart kind of thing, like where you put in the information for your car and it'll tell you if it fits or not or gives you the right one. But use those links for sure and uh, make sure you get the, the right Rank's Latitude uh, wiper blades for your car. So these are gonna be basically the same hooks that we had for my wife's car as well large and small J hooks should work basically the same way, taking them off and putting the new ones on. So it should be an easy swap. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right guys, so this is the hook right here. It's gonna be a little hook like, uh, just like this. There's gonna be a little bitty tab underneath here. If you wanna go ahead and zoom in on that. A little tab you wanna pull up on. And while you're pulling up, slide it down and it should come right out and just wiggle it on through. And now we got it off, so we'll go ahead and chuck that. All right, so same thing, open it up here. Uh, this one's already starting to come out anyway. Uh, I don't think there's a tab for it. You just slide it down uh, and then off. So again, chuck it, you don't need them anymore. So this is the big blade that we have going for us. Uh, as you can see, the yellow strip, only remove that when you're ready to use it but before we, well, we're gonna install it first and then worry about that later. Have not changed anything. This is the way the blade comes. What you do is there's a flap in the front here. You pop it open. Again, if you wanna see that, you pop it open. It's gonna open things up. And all you have to do is come on this hook right here, just like we removed it, we're pulling it down. On slide, there's gonna be that little hook piece right here. Your hook's gonna go right in there. You're gonna slide it on up. Wait for it to click just like that and pop that back over and that one's ready to go. All right, now I have my beautiful wife gonna try the other side. Yep, that's right, pose, pose. <laughs> so what she's gonna do again. Pop it open. Go from underneath and slide it up. I wonder if pulling it towards me would help. There we go. Until it clicks and then snap it close. Yep, good job. So it's just that easy, and you have no professional experience whatsoever, correct? No. None whatsoever. No. Okay, cool. And we I just did that. Used to do this for a living. Yep. So, <laughs> so, uh, so basically, she's lying about that. She, um, I don't think her teacher skills would allow that. But um. so next, what we're gonna do is remove those nasty yellow strips. They're just there for, for protection. Dodge Char Charger Challenger people. I, I know you don't understand that because you have them on your front of your car still. 
but we're gonna remove these and they recommend that the windshield be absolutely dry, which it is now because it's so hot. We're gonna run them for about two to three minutes to make sure all of the Rain-X chemicals from the blades get on the windshield. So it basically repels all the water using that chemical that's gonna be on there. I've said this in the last video and make sure to keep this in mind when it's cold, lift these up, you can put socks, trash bags, uh, whatever you need to, uh, but don't make sure they don't get stuck on the windshield because they have a whole bunch more uh, rubber than the stock blades, as you can see. And if they have a whole bunch of rubber, of course, if you're gonna be peeling them off of a ice field windshield, it might rip it off. So just be wary of that. Always use protection. Always use protection. So we're, we're gonna put these down and then we're going to let it run for about two, three minutes. And then we're gonna test it out and see if it's any better. All right guys, so like I said, we're gonna do three minutes. We're gonna do the maximum we're possibly supposed to do. So we're gonna wait here until this timer runs out and then we'll be right back. All right. So now that that's done, uh, what we're gonna have to do is just spray a little bit of the windshield washer fluid on there and it should be activated and we should be ready to test it out and see how it goes. All right, here we go. That already is working so much better. Look how clean it is. Yes. All right, so now it should be activated. And now for the moment of truth, does it actually work? I can already tell it looks a whole lot better. You can see it beating up like it's supposed to. Like it, it's, it's so fast. It's just one swipe and it's dry. Love some rain -X Latitude wiper blades. Definitely recommend them. I'm not sponsored at all in any way, shape, or form. They don't, they don't give me any monies. That would be cool if they did. Thanks for helping my pay us our bills and everything, but great product. I really enjoy it. That's why we put them on all our cars now. But it looks amazing. All right, guys, so my lovely camera lady is in the car. We're gonna be spraying again, see what it looks like on the inside. So much better, so much cleaner. Let's see if I can make it like downpour, like if it was really, really hard. I mean, it literally doesn't even stick on there. It just beads up and swipes right off. Crazy. All right guys, so that's gonna be it. As you can see, it's a tremendous improvement from what she had. So we're gonna let this rock. Like I said, it's been a year since we put the one on the truck. I think it's almost been about that time for my wife's car too. Not once has she complained on the way home that she wasn't able to see like she was before. So I think that's a good test for me. So longevity, good. I mean, short term, you just saw for yourself. So go get some for yourself. I'll leave links in the description for all different kinds of sizes and everything that you need so you don't have to go looking for them and everything. We are not sponsored, but any purchases through those links, of course, gives us a, a, a little bit of money for our channel. So we appreciate it if you did, but if you don't, that's fine too. I just wanna give you guys a good product. So that's gonna be all for today's video. Thank you to my beautiful camera lady over here for uh, helping us with the video. Uh, we hope to see you in the next one. Don't forget to drop a like if this did help you in any way, shape, or form. It really does help our channel and our video out so very much, and we do appreciate it. But let me know if there are any more kind of feedbacks that you want to see, like the shirt and everything, uh, because without your comments and uh, critiques, of course, these videos wouldn't get better than they were before. So thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget, always remember, stay, stay sinister. sinister. Perfect.